talk about medications? Yeah. Medications are a very good thing that you can save long. There are patient assistance programs out there that um, you can go directly to the manufacturer and they will send you their products. And you could, a lot of times those are zero dollar costs to you. Um, some of the programs that I've participated in where I could get my insulin for like $25 and they will send it to me. So those are great programs to save money on. You can, with the medication program, you can use GoodRx if you don't yep. want to use it. Yeah, GoodRx has a lot of um, discounts, even up to 80% discount on your drugs. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people, you know, whenever they get on the disability, a lot of them get the extra help program. And the extra help program is administered by the Social Security Administration. And normally you have to be making $1,500 or less to be on the program. Now, you, a lot of people that are on this program get their prescriptions for a dollar, two dollars, fifty nine. So I've gone to the um, and I'm not on it, but some of my um, prescriptions I've gone and I've gotten them at fifty nine cents, and uh, I'm waiting there to pay with my twenty dollars. And the girl would say, "Oh, you, it's only like twenty nine cents," and I said, "Wow, great here, <laughs> you know." Yeah. So there, it's it's just a variety of different mm -hmm. programs out there that will help you out. And I, I do think the extra help program is one of the best ones that out there that help uh, members out. Mm -hmm. so, so for medications, we have those that are on Medicare, we have that segment um, mm -hmm. and, and that are on there. And what's on my mind about that is if, if somebody has got like 10 medications and their medication cost on plan XYZ is $5,000 a year, it seems to me like the first thing that they think of is, oh, I'm going to go change plans. But what I would like to ask you and have you talk about is what's the realistic, what's the probability of switching from a plan to another plan? whether it's in the same company or another company and putting a big dent in that. I mean, do you see that out there much? Um, switching plans. I don't see where a, a person would save a lot of money in switching their plans to another um, provider. The only way that you're going to really save money is if that they're on a extra help program and that program will follow them right. from plan to plan. Right. right. But, you know, anyone can get on the um, patient's assistance program. It doesn't matter that what plan you're on. You can yeah. get on that patient's assistance program and get your medications for free. Sometimes mm -hmm. you have to qualify for the program. You, you, you have to be making a certain amount or be below the poverty level to be able to get on the programs. Yeah. But um switching back and forth due, due to the medications normally that i don't see that really happen them out right i i agree so it really brings it down to there's the extra help program that some might qualify for mm -hmm. um, there is the patient assistance program uh one that we haven't talked about yet is going to your doctor and asking for a pre-authorization right yeah. Right. Whenever you, whenever I'm looking at the medications that a person's on, right, and it says um, that you have to get a pre-authorization, right, I find that's the easiest thing because all you have to do is go to your primary care physician, let the primary care physician know that the drug that you're trying to get needs a pre-authorization. The um, primary care physician or his staff will send a certain form over to the company, the provider, and that provider will go ahead and be able to cover that. And normally they, that pre-authorization will last for a year. And then after that year, you have to do it over again. 
right? But you should never be afraid of not being able to get your medications because the system, the Medicare system is structured as so that whatever medication that you're on, you're going to be able to get that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it might be a little bit more and sometimes, you know, it might be a little bit less than what you think is going to be, but right. you'll be able to get that medication. Uh, Daphne, could you give us an example of the financial benefit of a pre-authorization? We talked about what it is and what it does, but if somebody's out there, you know, and they've got a uh, tier three or four medication, can you walk us through or kind of conceptually how that would benefit them? Well, the pre-authorization, the only thing that the pre-authorization does is really get you your medication. But whenever you're on a program where the doctor, there's step programs where you have a medication that you said doesn't work, then they're trying you on another one that doesn't, you said that doesn't work. And, but the most expensive one out there does work and you're able to get that at a certain cost. Now there's a program out there where you can go to the provider and ask them to change the tier of the medication. Mm -hmm. So if I'm on a medication and it's a tier three and that tier three is a hundred and something dollars and I can't afford it, anyone can go to their provider, right? With the doctor's help, with the primary care physician's help and ask them to lower that to a one tier and a one tier is normally zero dollar cost. Right. They can lower it to two tier and maybe you end up paying $10 for a hundred dollars item. So yep. those are the things that you'll be able to save on whenever you're dealing with the medications. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's where the pre-authorization can take a hundred dollar medication and bring it down to a dollar or ten dollars. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Pre-authorization is basically dealing with your primary yep. care physician yep. and getting that authorization to get that particular Great. medication. Great. I'm wondering, is there anybody out there that's on tier three, four medications and you've been paying for it and can use this, this tip? Um, love to hear from you. That's great. 